Hari Om, all of you all. Um, today we are releasing the fifth episode. The episodes are released on Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. And uh, it is, I, I saw a lot of people give a thumbs up, like, everything. My request is, please engage. Let's, let's discuss, make it lively. Each one of you will have something to share on each of these topics, because these are topics which we think of it on a daily basis. There is no right and wrong in this. It is about perception. It is how you feel, right? So I sincerely request you all, uh, don't, we are not here to mistake your view or there is no right view, right? So whatever you feel, please share, because that will tickle certain thoughts, that will create certain harmony that will create certain questions and then we are we are engaging the more we think the churning happens the better we churn the better is the outcome so let let's do that i request you all to participate uh, very seriously you know it, it is uh, indeed though it's a uh, lame person uh, in this journey like me but i think there are many like me <laughs> around so let's let's uh, discuss this more often over the week. Uh, thank you. Hari Om Swamiji. Uh, we come to the fifth episode. So last time you mentioned about success and three elements which contribute to success, which were very profound. I heard about uh, this part somewhere uh, from another uh, um, philosopher who said. Who differentiated success in three different uh, aspects? So he said, first is the growth, what we all understand generally, a more profit, more, uh, you know. He said that is a growth, that is not success. Uh, I, he said, he, I wouldn't call it success. Then he said about something which was very, very good was progress. He said, when growth happens with ethics, when we talk of combined with ethics, so you have companies who are very ethical, who will not do wrong, disciplined, delivery, all those, that duty consciousness, all those aspects are there. He talked about progress and all. Then he said, then what is success? Then success is progress plus the aspect of doing good to the society, humaneness, humility, all those when it gets combined with growth with ethics and all that that he said was success i i felt very nice hearing that part of it because it it seemed extremely good and to connect with what you have been talking so i thought we should expand on that aspect and how do you see this ethics play a part in the whole sequence of success how is ethics such an important element uh, in in success. Hari Om. Success is a subject which is so vast and uh, each will define success in their own way. One definition we have heard is first, first what is needed is imagination. If you can imagine, you can create it. No? First you know, when we are talking about the different aspects of the causes, there are three. One is the intelligent cause. The other one is the material cause. Yes. Third one is the instrumental cause. If all these three join together, a product comes, success comes. Now, to understand it more, as we said earlier, this is a vast subject. We are trying to understand something of it through the anecdote which we have personally experienced and it gave us a lot of uh, clarity about success, duty and everything. Way back in 60s when we were working, one day the manager called and told us at that time our monthly turnover was 2 lakhs per month. So he said, can we reach 5 lakhs? Immediately we said yes, provided 
when we give an indent, all the parts should be given to us before 15th, 20th of that month. If you can ensure that you will, all these parts, what we have ordered, comes to us well in advance, we will try our level best to hit the target. He said, that part, you leave it to me. The first and foremost thing is, our relationship with the manager was so close. To us, he was an embodiment of all values. So when he says something, we are not thinking about anything else. So ultimately, we moved heaven and earth, got parts. Unlike today, you know, today everything is mechanized. On those days, everything is manually done. Even a delivery chalan, typing out the invoice, so many things. So as we started getting the information from the head office, that they have dispatched, this, they have done, immediately we will do the allotment. We will prepare the delivery chalan. The, the, the article has not yet reached, but we keep it everything ready. So on 27, 28, when everything came, everything was ready. And uh, we were trying to uh, raise the invoice. And by 5 o'clock on 30th, we had hit the target of 5 lakhs. Wow. Nobody thought about anything else. Okay. Everybody was focused on it. And perfectly handled, efficiently handled. As soon as the manager came to know that we have hit the targets, the first reaction is he immediately telephoned to the head office and told them, my boys have done something which nobody can imagine. Wow. So I want uh, two buses to take them from Chennai to Bangalore, put them in the first class hotel and then give them all facilities, take them to the factory also and then uh, show them all visiting places and safely bring them back two days off. Entire stuff. We did not ask. Now, looking back at this, what happened? From one point, from the manager's point, the success is there. From two lakhs to five lakhs, you know, in one go. But he did not impose his views. He used that opportunity to touch and kindle so many things in all of us. Sincerity, loyalty, Efficient work, hard work, not time conscious, not expecting anything from anybody. Okay. At the same time, ensuring uh, suppose we, we cannot dump this to any, uh, any customer. So we should be judicious. All those things, efficiency, you know, it came out. And uh, all people put in their best efforts, as, as I said earlier, all manually done, you know. There should be, there could be a clerical error. So it has to be checked by somebody. Everything is done manually. And the typing, typing has to be checked up. The rate, everything has to be checked up. All manually to be done. And everything was done meticulously. That means the, the, the pool of resources were touched and kindled in the minds of so many people. Oh. Just because we had committed. So his imagination of reaching to five lakhs. When it, so, who conveys? It matters. We don't treat him as, you know, he wanted success for the company. We treat it because he is telling we have to honor it. So, the first thing we learned on that, success depends upon our relationship, human relationship. Wow. wow. I, by myself, cannot do it. But if I am in touch with so many people, and if my relationship is beyond the normal hello hello relationship there is a there is an emotional bonding between me and the boss then no matter what he commits we have to honor it that's all number one then meticulous we have to study the whole thing we have to uh, see and which the... parts are necessary which parts can be easily uh, disposed of suppose i book so many things with their, their dead stock i will not be able to do it so efficiency at every level is touched and kidney. So honesty, sincerity, loyalty, with efficiency at every level. And then vigilance. And then uh, always thinking about the target to be achieved. Correct. So every time we type out, we see the figure, we add to the figure manually and see whether it is going up, up, up. What is today's, tomorrow's, day after tomorrow, <laughs> the forecast, you know, how to, how to plan for this. Everything is meticulously done by a team of people. And then the final result was we were able to do it.
acha the in the sincerity loyalty uh, efficiency all these things also they are the different facets of duties correct it is not imposed on us not at all uh, as an employee i feel this is my duty towards my company yes that 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 feeling so, right, the company can define it as a success but this is my duty and i am not i am not considering about anything else what will i get we were we never knew that he will take us for two days on those days you know you can imagine in 60s oh go and stay in woodlands in bandra something unthinkable and uh, he, spontaneously he telephone and the uh, we were working in myco bosh so the, the you can see the the whole people how they were all uh, committed to these values you know human relations how much they value it and we still remember when we reached uh, next day everything was given provided to us when we went to the uh, factory the senior service manager service top man he was there to receive us wow Ah, wow. So it was not a showy thing. So the success depends upon, according to us, from the from the incident we have raised. Even today, after the lapse of nearly sixty years, we still remember. remember. It. You are remembering. Because, why you know? Because of the relationship that the manager developed with all of us, and the interrelationship between different departments. if the chemistry is wrong we will not be able to do it everyone should be uh, committed to this test just, just imagine so the duty coming out in the form of loyalty sincerity earnestness commitment to our basic and duty and at the same time uh, uh, the the human relationship that is developed it was instrumental in touching and kindling so many aspects in our life which will stay with us even after the affair is over it is not that for that particular moment we were no because all these things are have a sustaining cas effect whatever we developed during the period correct when we know it, it was not for recognition it was not for validation it was not for anything else it was the, just for the sake of honoring his word but ultimately we came to know when he also immediately came down to our level and made us to feel happy homely Uh, and then that, that that feeling stays with us even after 60 years and this has been a very great uh, when uh, i would i would say uh, a great learning in our life okay. very great learning wherever we go the first and foremost thing we should develop is proper human relationship whether you are a boss or a subordinate or a colleague whether you are a proprietor whatever is needed is you because it can't be done by one soul you can give an idea but if the idea has to be uh, translated into activity and finally if it, it should result in success the basic thing is the pooling of all efforts by all your people and how 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 you develop that relationship i so I, i get your points on it i only because we have heard this from uh, abdul kalam ji talking about vikram sarabhai how you know uh, i have also i have always been surprised in the logistics when japanese talked about zero inventory that is the the factory was running and the material will come in they don't keep inventory it comes in and then it goes so the point of relationship is very true i agree because people leave managers and not companies they say that but uh, the fact that you have mentioned something which is very very powerful that you all did that work out of a consciousness of duty which which encompasses a lot of aspects of loyalty uh, and and righteousness you you were you had that kind of righteous feeling which made you perform your duty so well right and uh, one more thing one more thing how, like how does that. yeah one more thing i would like to add probably for the viewers it may be uh, something at all talk but it was it had really happened to to be more precise when we joined the company after two or three days the section had called us 
I told her three mantras. Super mantras. It will answer our duties, our success, our so many things. He said, uh, when you start involving yourself in the uh, your job, and when you come, bring it out efficiently. People may pat on your back. You say you have done a good job, this and that. You may get a feeling that you are you have done your best. Proficiency has come. But all right, nothing wrong in it. But along with that, you should also remember it is the company that gave you a field for expressing it. If the field That's is not I given, ah, that is the first mantra. Second mantra is even if you leave the company, whatever expertise or skill you have developed, which the company has provided, it will stay with you even if you leave the company. But think it is the company who gave you that opportunity. Even now we feel them, even after leaving the company in 68, still, you know, we, we feel grateful to them because he said that, you know, even whatever expertise, whatever you develop, whatever you are applauded, whatever you are recognized, you know, it, it, the company gave you the field. Remember the company. And third one. I, I, yeah. Third one. After uh, uh, doing all these things, you may feel what you are getting is not what you should get. <laughs> he said. Very nothing, common. Very uh, common. <laughs> nothing wrong. Nothing wrong in developing that idea, but at the same time, you should know. You can you can present your views, but you should always have in your mind that when you came here, the day on which you came, when you were pining for a placement, when you wanted to have a footing for your life, this company gave you the field. You have it in your mind, then ask for anything. So your rights come, you have got right. You have a right to express right. your rights. But the rights come, be, should come based upon this. That means, bereft of the interest of the company, you have no other thing. Very Always we think, so in one particular field, when we start doing it, these three mantras, you know, we have never raised anything for us. That was the biggest, because everywhere, suppose you say, your article, Unnati, is, it has come out well. You may think, you know, people may think, oh, Unnati has come out from, from my mind or something like that. Immediately you will try to think, if the field was not given to me, and if a team of army of people have not been, you will not be able to reach this stage. So always we become conscious of their contribution. So this duty, 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 comes out in the form of, as we said, uh, loyalty, sincerity, efficiency. And uh, more important is the human relationship. All these things will definitely promote for success. And success should be there. Success should be there because otherwise progress will not be there. Huh. Everyone everyone should bring out. How, do, how to bring out? Success is not coming from outside. That, that's the that's the beauty of it i i you know you said it i i think success is not from outside it is from right. within Definitely not. and and the moment we think of it with a duty consciousness we approach it with that sincerity dedication loyalty uh, and and that gratitude i think uh, we we all will attain success so uh, thank you very much, Swamiji, for this. You know, it, it's a very, very uh, interesting uh, talk. And, you know, it, we will keep dwelling on it. We'll keep re, uh, each, retouching each, it. Each, each one can uh, bring some this. experience. Each one Absolutely. can bring some experience from their own life. Absolutely. And then add this dimension and you get the thrill out of it. Absolutely. We will do that. Thank you. Arium.